What's up everybody? So we're gonna be doing a review video about the budgeting app called Digit. 75% of people, believe it or not, say they have a budgeting app on their smartphone, but 79% of people say that they don't stick to their budget. What's going on with this? We gotta fix it. So we're gonna be doing some review videos about different budgeting apps. And comment down below something that you are saving up for and have this in mind as we're going through this video. We're gonna start out, we're gonna look at the interface of Digit, kind of look at the app, how it all works, and then we're gonna go through some pros and cons to it and kind of talk about the perks that it has. Sweet. So we got her pulled up right here. The very first thing that caught my eye with Digit is look how pretty she is. Dang. It is beautiful, like it is so simple, just like colorful but not crazy that it overwhelms you. And this is honestly like the only page that it has. Like it is so easy, like so simple. So kind of what it has here is you have your savings goals up top and it has a rainy day, that's just what it comes with, but you can add a savings goal for whatever you're trying to do. Another cool thing is it has savings goals where you can pay off your credit cards, invest anything, a phone bill, or any debt or loans that you have. It also has settings that you can set up to put money into these things. How Digit works is it analyzes your spending habits and then it'll automatically pull from your checking that you have linked and it'll put it into either a debt or your savings goals. And that's what it looks like. Super simple, super clean. Honestly, a baby could do it these days, guys. Let's be real. So as you can see, digit, simple. Dude, I like digit. 10 digits, 10 fingers up, 10 stars. Digit's awesome. So let's go over a little bit of the pros and cons or things that we really liked. The accountability of digit or how accountable, how much it holds you accountable to a budget that you create, it's awesome. It yeah. automatically pulls the money for you. So you don't really have to think about it. It just pulls the money from your spending, from your checking account into your savings account. So, I mean, you can't ask for more than that. It doesn't necessarily have a budgeting feature like other budgeting apps do. So it doesn't say you have $10 left in a food category. It mostly just pulls money and sets it towards a specific savings goal or paying off debt that you have, which I think is so awesome. Yeah, it looked like it was more of like focused on your set, your savings and checkings account. And it really just was like, that's it. it yeah. Didn't really care how much you spent towards your food or your electricity or your utilities. It was more just like, let's just knock off this debt and save up for something you want. Just get your money, man. Get your dough. With Digit, it really saves you a whole bunch of time. I think it's one of the most convenient and simple to use finance apps that are out there that you can find. Honestly, that I've seen. Yeah, it's just right there in the one page. It's like a one time you set up how much money you're trying to it actually, you don't even need to set up how much money you're trying to spend. It yeah. analyzes your spending for you. So you don't have to do anything. Like, honestly, I love this app. I think it's incredible. And I'm not just saying that. No, that's probably one thing though, like you want to be aware of is that it's very simple, but it doesn't do a couple of the other things necessarily like the budgets and the graphs. I'm surprised you like it so much. You love your pie I'm a, charts. I'm a graph guy, you know. But I'm it is so simple if you're just going to save yeah. and pay down debt. A couple of maybe the not so positive things with Digit is I was only able to really set up one account with it, like my main UCCU. And I didn't push super hard to see if I could push in other accounts, but I think it's kind of limited to just your checking account that money's coming and going from. Hmm. So it's not really giving you a picture of your net worth or view anything like that. The other big thing that kind of is the reason why I don't prefer Digit as much as some other ones is it has a 30 day free trial, but after that it's $5 a month. If you're starting out, you're just trying to save money and you're not saving money. I mean, I think it's totally worth it. $5 a month isn't that much, but if you kind of have your system down, maybe you don't want to spend $5, so you can do something else. But overall, I think it's fantastic. 100% would recommend. Some people are like, ah, oh, $5. Yeah. No way I'm spending five bucks, but like, you guys are spending way more on groceries and clothes and getting your nails done and going and getting full body massages and crap. Full body massages. This will help you get more full body massages if you save with yeah. Digit. So really a win, 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 win situation. <laughs> so with Digit, what happens is it pulls money, it analyzes your spending, pulls money from your checking account or your bank, 
and it brings the money into the app. It has kind of its own savings account on the app and it doesn't really make you any interest. It's very low, like 0.1% or something, but that's pretty typical with like average checking or spending accounts that if you're not really looking for that. But so it'll pull it from your bank and put it into this digit account and you can add money to it whenever you'd like to and you can pull money from it whenever you'd like to as well. So it's not, it's pretty liquid. So that's it for Digit. If there are any other apps that you guys love to use, make a comment and we will review that app for other people to look at too. If you found value in this video, if you liked me speaking more than Jake, make sure you like this video and subscribe. Maybe we're having a contest to see who can get more subscribers, but subscribe. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching.